Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your April 2018 How Do They Feel About You video. I woke up bright and early this morning to well over 10,000 subscribers and just a couple days ago on the 27th, I um, that was my three month anniversary so I, I'm just blown away and I can't thank you all enough from the bottom of my heart each and every one of you. So as usual, Sagittarius, I know some of you guys really, really like this spread. So um, as usual, we are going to pick a Romance Angels card, and then we're going to clarify it, okay? So how do they feel about Sagittarius? April 2018. And as always, this is not going to resonate with everyone, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign. We are all on our different journeys. How do they feel about Sagittarius, April of 2018? How do they feel about Sagittarius, April of 2018? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so maybe there's like some commitment issues here that need to be worked on. There may, you know, because of the relationship that you saw that, you know, your parents have, maybe your parents didn't have such a great relationship. Maybe they didn't with each other. Maybe they didn't have a great relationship with you. Um, and maybe that's caused some trust issues. And maybe in your, you know, immediate family, maybe there's something going on that needs to be healed. Okay. So let's find out, Sagittarius. What is going on? April 2018. How do they feel about Sagittarius? April 2018. Okay. Okay, so they want some truthful communication with you. They're trying to make a head over heart decision about you with the King of Swords here. They're trying to be intelligent about this um, because the King of Swords is very um, intelligent and they can be kind of cold as well. And maybe, um, you know, they see you as kind of cold and distant right now. Um, the King of Swords, it's Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they feel like the ball is in your court here. Like you have a decision to make, uh, whether that be, um, I'm thinking that it's honestly Sagittarius. I think it's, it might be between <clears throat> two people here. You are at a crossroads between two people. And the ball is in your court, and this person knows that, okay? Um, they seem to think you've had, you know, some issues, some past family issues. And they're, you know, this uh, that card always comes up when there's commitment involved here. Like there's a commitment problem, okay? And... We also have the Seven of Swords, and this is the Thief card in the Tarot deck, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this is very uh, dishonest communication. Somebody is lying um, in this equation here, and someone has more than one option on the table. And so they feel like... and. You know, this could be a past relationship or your current relationship. And again, this is these can be get kind of specific. So this isn't for every Sagittarius out there, this message. 
The way they feel about you is that you have some commitment issues stemming from the relationship that your parents had with each other and the, the relationship that you had with your parents also. Maybe, you know, your childhood wasn't the best and that, you know, developed into some trust issues and some commitment issues, okay? So they feel like you have more than one option on the table. The Seven of Cups is um, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, and it means like they feel like you're throwing up a smoke screen, okay? You see all that cloud? They feel like you have more than one choice, and you have to decide. Two of Wands, fire energy, you, and the ball is in your court, and it's up to you. The world is in your hands and you have to decide, you know, which way you want to go because they don't feel like you're being honest with them. They don't feel like you're being honest with them, Sagittarius, okay? And um, King of Swords, that's a, a lot of truthful communication, okay? A lot of truthful communication that they would like from you. So... I mean, it's pretty plain and simple with these cards right here. So I know that's not the greatest, but, you know, somebody out there may have wanted to hear it. If this does resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Please let me know what is um, going on. Leave me a message. And again, if it doesn't, um, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign, okay? Thank you, Sagittarius. We'll say some prayers for you. Take care. God bless.